Hi, my name is Gabe. For this problem, we're asked to use the law of cosines to solve this parallelogram in order to complete the table. Let's begin by noting that since we have a parallelogram, both of the opposite sides are equal. So both the left and the right side have length a, and the bottom and the top side have length b. Let's also note that since the bottom and the top lines are parallel, theta and phi are co-interior angles, and from geometry, we know that co-interior angles are supplementary. This means that theta plus phi is equal to 180 degrees. And since we know that theta is 45 degrees, we have 45 degrees plus phi is equal to 180 degrees. And we can solve for phi by subtracting 45 from both sides of the equation, giving us phi is equal to 135 degrees. Now that we know both of the angles, theta and phi, we can either solve for C or D. Let's begin by solving for C. Here, we'll consider the triangle with sides C, the top side B, and the left side A. Here we can use the law of cosines, which tells us that C squared is equal to A squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b times the cosine of phi. Now substituting the values in, we have c squared is equal to 5 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 5 times 8 times the cosine of 135 degrees. So we can solve for C by taking the square root of both sides of the equation giving us c is equal to the square root of 25 plus 64 minus 80 times the cosine of 135 degrees. Now by using a calculator, we find that c is approximately 12.07. And finally, to solve for D, we'll consider the triangle, which includes the angle theta. And using the law of cosines, we have d squared is going to be equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times the cosine of theta. Substituting our values in, we have that d squared is equal to 5 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 5 times 8 times the cosine of 45 degrees. Now we can solve for d by taking the square roots of both sides of the equation, giving us d 
is equal to the square root of 25 plus 64 minus 80 times the cosine of 45 degrees. And again, by using a calculator, we find that this is approximately 5.69. So D is 5.69. And there we found the values for C, D, and V. And we've solved the parallelogram. Thank you.